Good morning. This is just hat hair. I'm about to go to Westchester Skate Plaza. I was supposed to meet up with Brian Betts sometime around now-ish, but I've been in my house stir crazy for the last uh, three hours. So if you wait like an hour and a half, yeah. So he asked me to wait an hour and a half, but I mean, I can't do that. I've been in my house for three hours working. I just finished up. I got a lot done, which I'm super excited about, but it was intense. I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning and I just started editing. I started working on other things and uh, yeah, now I'm ready to escape. So, for Columbia, South Carolina, I have all these tricks planned. I'm going there in four, three to four days. And I have all these tricks I want to film because I want to film a video part in Columbia, al along with like a few other places I want to film a part at. But I have two weeks. I'm pretty much going to be there for two weeks. And uh, yeah, I want to make the most of it. So right now I'm about to go to Westchester and just practice tricks that I have in mind for Columbia. Because I do that. So let's go. Okay, I just showed up. And there are people here, so... I always say this beforehand, I end up usually getting footage, but uh, might not be able to film. We'll see though. I'm probably going to get clips. I don't know why. I always say that just in case. So, going in right now to skate. Peace out. I'm not really sure if you can tell by my reaction, but that was a terrible, terrible session. But I don't like to say negative things and I don't like to go that way. But I mean, surely I was just skating really bad. Um, I don't know, everything was really hard for me. The fly roll tricks were like tricks that I usually do and they were, they were a struggle. So I blamed the board in a lot of ways. Uh, so I stopped it. I don't know, it was already cracked. It was already pretty much broken. And I got rid of it, so I'm gonna set up a new board, and maybe, maybe my luck will change. I look insane. My face is completely drained, of course. Uh, I am overheating, and I need to get something to drink ASAP because I didn't drink anything for those two hours I skated, and uh, that's crucial. So I'm gonna get on that as soon as possible. I'm gonna find the first gas station I see. Uh, maybe find the first creek and just dive head first and drink everything. That session got me good. Uh, I couldn't even walk into the store. Even though I did, I bought two of these. My whole body is sore. So I'm gonna be here for a little bit. I don't think you wanna watch this. I'm gonna take a nap. I know it's pitch black, but it's really dark here. But I have to take a nap because my body is in complete agony. Every arsenal of my body. <laughs> Sounded so weird. Okay, I just left for an hour in my car. But I'm here now, so I'm gonna go inside. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on my computer and work a little bit and probably shop a little bit because I need to buy a jacket and some pants and some other stuff, but that was crazy, dude. I just fully, fully fell asleep in my car for that long. Felt nice. I made a video recently that said don't film in malls, but this is me not heeding, heeding my own warning. This looks awful. What's the best, like, meat-free panini that you have? Meat what? Meat-free, like, what's, which one's this? This is no meat. No meat? No. Um, this one we have, we have the cheese and pesto one, that it comes in cheese, pesto, avocado, and tomato. Mm. It's really good. I like that a lot. Did you like it? I'll get that. Okay, did mm -hmm. you want french fries on the side or salad? Uh, I'll get french fries. And, um, I guess, do you have, like, a water cup? You want a, it comes with a drink, you don't want a Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, root beer, pink lemonade, raspberry iced tea, or you can have a bottle of water. Do you have a cup of water? That's uh, yeah. That's really good. It's good? Mm-hmm. You can actually eat all of these instead of buying <laughs> it. Moment of truth. Some type of panini, I don't really know. That was one of the best sandwiches I've ever had in my entire life. Here's the thing, I missed my opportunity to go home earlier. You have to leave before three or after seven, and now that it's four o'clock, I have to wait till seven. So that's how that goes. Seriously, bro, what do you want? 
<laughs> What's up, dude? That's in January? Yeah, dude, I would love to go to Vegas. Oh, I'm, I'm serious about this video part, my friend. Yeah? Yeah. I love that you're doing it all over the place. That was Andy Schrock. Oddly enough, he's calling me every single day. It's kind of a running joke that we have right now because he's called me the last four days in a row, and then he was like, I'm just calling you every day. Even if it's about nothing at all, he's gonna call me regardless. But that was a trip we're planning, and we're talking a lot about this thing that's coming up um, that deals with me and him and a lot of other people, but uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he contacts everyone who this is about. It, it's really weird to talk about it when I'm being very like secretive or cryptic or whatever, but uh, yeah, so he pretty much has to call me every day to discuss this thing, but I welcome any conversation from anybody in Ohio because I love those guys. No exaggeration, I was in that Target for four hours. Four hours? I don't even think that's... Yeah, yeah! I think, uh, I think it could have been longer than that. I think it was like five to six hours only because I didn't want to get in the traffic. And, uh... Yeah, so now I'm finally leaving at 7 o'clock and I, I'm avoiding the whole entire thing altogether. So that's like, that was my goal from the beginning and that's where I'm heading now. So funny when that dude yelled, it totally just freaked me out because I'm not used to, I'm used to like talking to the camera and thinking that I'm just in a separate world or at least conditioning myself to feel that way so that I can do it whenever I need to, whenever I want to. But yeah, sometimes I realize how insane it is that I'm talking to a camera in the middle of everywhere in front of a lot of people. But, I don't know, I'm like super used to it by now. But it's kind of crazy to think when I was like younger, I would see people doing stuff like this or see like homeless people talking to themselves and I was like, dude, that could never be me. But now I'm thinking about it and it's like, it's kind of me every day. That's kind of a lot of people I look up to. I see like Andy Schrock walk in and I don't know if you know him, but he's a dude who has a really good YouTube channel. He's an awesome guy, but yeah, he'll just be talking to the camera regardless and just going off and you're like, I don't know, is the student saying or what? That session took the life out of me. And that I had to take a nap right after just to heal from the session. And then the whole entire time I was in Target, I was like healing. And my legs were cramping and it was just insane. I don't know, I think like pretty much when you're skating and you get really, really, really anxious and you get really, really angry while trying a trick, you, you, you lose your mind and you just start like really, really going for it, working really hard. And that's when, that's when you're not really focused on what your legs are doing. And what's happening is they're like giving out and they're getting really, really tense. And then you're screwed. So I'm in the screwed position right now. <laughs> All right, I'm home, but I have to go drop off my car a couple blocks away. So I'm just gonna leave my camera here and I will be right back because I'm gonna stop by 7-Eleven on the way too. Oh man, what a day. It's crazy how sore my back is from that session. I know I've complained a ton about that one session, but that is, the name of the video is gonna have something to do with that because this is like an insane amount of pain for me to be in from just getting too excited. I got way too overwhelmed by this trick that I was trying. You know, you saw me butt on the board. Stupid. I'm calling it a night. This is my water, my Gatorade, my donuts. I am a very unhealthy human being sometimes after coming from a very healthy, delicious meal. But that's how I roll. Tonight though, I am finishing up, I am done. Uh, I have no idea what this edit's gonna be like. I, sometimes I feel like I repeat the same exact things every single night, but regardless, this night is done. Tomorrow will be a fun day. Uh, I don't really have much of a game plan. The next couple days are kind of preparation for when I'm leaving uh, for Columbia, South Carolina on the 21st. So if that confuses you, I actually do these edits about a week in advance so my videos are maybe a week behind the actual present day or maybe not a week couple days because when i put up edits like i did like a how to push mongo video or videos like that i still film day in the life of those days so i'm starting to think that even if i do something like that i have to incorporate it into my vlog day in the life thing it, it's kind of confusing especially because yeah i vlog every day so of course i'm gonna have videos just sitting on my computer ready to go whenever, but I need to work on them. So that's why when I go to Target and stuff, I have like 10 videos to edit. So anyways, that's a lot of information, but point blank, I am very glad you guys are watching this. I really appreciate you guys viewing, commenting, liking, everything you're doing. It's like the greatest thing ever, especially because my feedback has been super, super positive lately. I get a lot of thumbs up, which is cool. I don't know. It's just really, really positive feedback and I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you guys watching my channel. So, thanks a lot. Subscribe if you'd like. Good night.